Hello, and welcome to Autodesk Flow Studio. In this tutorial, we'll show you how you can take video straight from your phone and use it to generate motion capture that we can then output to tools like Maya and Blender. Start by recording motion on your phone. When intending to retarget animation to another character in tools like Maya or Blender, we recommend starting your video with a T-pose to improve compatibility. Keeping the actor in frame as much as possible also helps too. Now in Flow Studio, start with either a live action project if you plan to use a template character, or AI mocap if you only need the motion captured skeleton for retargeting. Let Flow Studio scan the clip for actors and assign a character if you're using live action. If your clip has multiple cuts, scan for actors after each cut or lighting change. Then export the project. Make sure to enable Maya, Blender, Unreal Engine, or USD, depending on the software you're using downstream. You can also choose to export the AI mocap and camera tracking from here as well. Now start processing. When Flow Studio finishes processing, you can open the project and download the Maya, Blender, Unreal, or USD file, camera tracking, and mocap FBX file, depending on your needs. Now inside of Maya, you can either open the Maya scene or import the mocap FBX file, depending on the path you chose. This brings the animated character or skeleton and cameras into Maya. But at first the animation keyframes will be baked right onto the character's joints. So open the human IK panel and create a new character definition. Assign the root of the definition to the root joint of the imported skeleton. Then use load character definition template to assign the rest of the joints automatically by name. Now you can generate a control rig and bake the original skeleton keyframes to that rig. Finally, you can apply a simplified curve filter in the graph editor to reduce the number of keyframes. And add a new anim layer for your additional artistic edits on top of the mocap animation. To retarget the animation to another human IK character, just import them, then map their source to your mocapped character. And if you want, you can even bake the keyframes from the source character to the new target. And that's it! With Flow Studio handling your base animation, you'll have more time to refine the scene into your final vision. Have fun experimenting, and thanks for watching.